morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's December 5th, uh, 2018 today. And I, there's a few things I, I just want to talk to you about. I want you to I want you to go back into the time that you were indoctrinated, and you were watching those sci-fi shows, those episodes. You know, more specifically, uh, think about the ones that depicted time travel. You remember that? I thought that was real, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, when you materialize in some you know, if, all right, when, 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 when you use whatever system you're using to, to do this time traveling, whether it being a car or a phone booth or whatever it be, you've got to make out a schematic and, and, and do the measurements and figure out where the planet's going to be at that particular time, else you'll materialize into space. <laughs> Remember that? I don't know if you understand what I'm getting at, but, you know, they, they actually had to figure that out. I, they, they did it in some of the shows that I watch. Um, anyway... Well, really to know that we live on a flat land and uh, flat plane, and we're not moving and uh, we're not on a planet. So I didn't have to worry about that. I, now, I, let's get back to time travel now. I don't think that we're able to time travel. And, and one of the main reasons why I think uh, this is true is because, well, first off, the time tra- if we were able to time travel, it wouldn't be what you think, where you wouldn't go back to the same time that you think you grew up in. You'd probably go back to, you'd open up a vortex and it would go take you to a different kind of dimension, if it was possible. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just giving you ideas to think about. But anyway, which would remove the godfather uh, paradox. I'm not the godfather, the grandfather paradox, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so that, that couldn't happen because you're not in the same time. But anyway, all right. The creator has created limitations. Okay, that's what he's done for us. We are, we are, you know, we have limitations to where we can dig because we can only go down eight miles. Can't go any further than that. Whether it being lava or whatever it may be that's preventing us from getting down there, we can't get down there and we probably never will. All right, I mean, it only took us 30 years to figure out. There's another thing too, Antarctica, it took us 30 years at Antarctica too. 30 or 40 years, same time, I didn't think about that, two of the same years, and, you know, it took them three decades to figure out that we couldn't drill eight miles, and it took them three decades that we couldn't do anything, or they found something, and they hit it up and covered it up, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, and I'll get into that in a minute, too, but the reason why I don't think time travel is possible is, one, we don't have enough energy, two, um, we have limitations, okay? I mean, you'd have to probably reach the speed of light, which we don't even know what the speed of light is because there's no way of measuring it. Not on this plane. You know, you actually really do need space to, to measure the speed of light, and there is no space. So I don't know how they're coming up with these uh, mathematicians are coming up with these numbers. But they're all bullshit. They're all fake. And you know that just as well as I do. So we have limitations, Okay. Um, on on that. And that's why I just don't think time travel is possible. Now that I brought up time, I want you to I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the time that you're in right now and the time that you grew up in. You know, it's not very long, guys. When you look back 50 years, 50 years, 70 years, whatever it may be, it's really not that long. If you think about it, nothing's changed. You know, in terms of space or the sun or the moon. You know, I told us the moon was moving away at a snail's pace, about as as quickly as your fingernail grows. It's not. (laughs) It's a small little thing in the sky, just like the sun is the same size. All right, nothing's changed. So everything is exactly the way, in the skies, everything is exactly the same way as it was when you were an infant, when you were first born. Think about it. That kind of takes a different perspective of you know, how time works, you know, because really nothing's changed. Sure, our technology has changed. Buildings haven't changed. You know, cars have changed. The technology on cars have gotten, but they suppressed us because we should be driving around in electric cars right now. We're not. All right. We should be driving down the road with free electricity and we are not. They took it away. Oh yeah, Tesla's got a car. It's $110,000 if you got that kind of money. I don't. 
And if you get a dent or a scratch on it, oh shit, you're gonna have to pay about 40 grand or live with it. So, you know, all these limitations that we have around us, all this control that we have around us, they've created a hell, well, they really have. The creator did not want us to live like this. You know, he really didn't. Especially like the skies the way they are right now. I want you to think about something. Not what, you know, yesterday, I was looking at the stars yesterday, okay? Last night. All right, well, let me get into this real quick. Okay, it was clear last night, and it was clear this morning. Right now, it's milky throughout the entire skyline. It just happened. When I woke up this morning, it was clear. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, and then all of a sudden, we get this. It happens every day, you know? And we had an unusual clear night last night where I was able to see the stars, which is amazing because when you look at them in a different perspective now, when you're a flat earther, you can tell just by looking at them that they're not as far away as you've been told. All right. I mean, I know you're beyond this, but it's true. You can even see it with your own eyes. That's why the creator put those up there. Probably not only for a time clock, but everything here is for us to figure out that we live on a flat plane and that we'd eventually figure it out. You know, I mean, it's it, it, it really is something to think about, too. Um, one of the things that I've been thinking about are the size of the stars, okay? The size of the stars have always gotten to me because they were all the same size. Forget about the planets, the fake planets up there for now, all right? Let's focus in on the size of the stars. When you take a time-lapse photograph of these amazing light show up there, or light sources, shall we say, they're all the same exact size. Okay, how could that be? Didn't we learn in science class that stars are different sizes? One's huge, you can fit a hundred suns in it, or a thousand suns in it, or a million suns in it. They're all the same size. The light sources are all the same size. None of them are bigger, none of them are smaller. Minus the fake planets, remember. Now I want you to think about lining up 50 cars and spacing them evenly from each other and putting them on a flat plane being above them so you can see each individual headlight of the car almost like they're stacked just like the scientists when they actually looked up there they saw the galaxies they were stacked on top of each other you know almost like the creator wanted you to find that anyway that's a different video um, when you look at these light sources the furthest away you are, the smaller that light source line is when you take a time-lapse photograph of it. Why don't we see that in our skies? You can't. We live on a flat plane. That is a dome up there or a firmament or something, and the stars, God knows where they are. If they're in the firmament, if they're out of the firmament, if it's a simulation up there in the sky, I have no idea. You know, It'd be amazing to think about either one. But um, these are things that y you got to look at, that you have to understand the Creator has created all of this for you to see. And when you look at those stars, you can see that they're not as far away as you've been told. It's pure lies. They're a lot closer. The sun and the moon are a lot closer than you could possibly... They're the same size, first off. And they're not tangible objects. Nothing is. There is no space. Those planets, you can't fly to them. You can't do anything. You can't get out of this dome. You know, I want to talk about interdimensional travel with you. You know, say we do live in a pond, you know, and there are millions of other ones out there. We live on an infinite plane. Is that inter interdimensional um, travel? Is when we get through our exit, wherever it may be, and we're able to get to another world? I'm going to call that inter interdimensional travel. I think that's the best way to describe it, because you are. This is all speculation. The one thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out where we are. We've got to figure out what's above us, what's below us, and where the exit is. And that's what we got to concentrate on. That's the most important thing. I mean, we've got to get people to research everything and study it and, and look into it. For crying out loud, I mean, if you, I, you know... Uh, it's so annoying. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, everybody just believes everything that they've learned. I mean, it is so amazing how, you know, innocent children are and that you can pretty much tell them anything and they will believe it the rest of their lives and they will fight you. 
and they won't research it because they think what has been told to them is absolutely true just because they heard it as a child and they had this globe in front of them and they can't think about anything else you know try research it wake up that's all I can tell people at this point I don't know all right just wanted to get that out there hope everybody's doing well uh, thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos and uh, let me be a part of your life.